Hi, TD Bob here. I usually do moto vlogging. However, I've got some comments I want to make about the GoPro Session 5 <clears throat> and the associated hardware. Now, when I bought the Session, the size, since I run it primarily on a motorcycle helmet, was a big consideration, and the specs seemed reasonably good. But this is what I've had, the experiences I've had over the first couple of months. First of all, we were going to New Zealand for uh, 10 days, and we got down on the South Island, which is very rural, and one of my big SD cards took a dive, so I was trying to find a way to download my stuff that's on the 32 gig card that I had with me, so I should have something else while we looked for more cards, which are not common, um, especially the high-speed ones. So, we hoped GoPro could offer a solution. We had a couple of Android devices and a MacBook Air, but GoPro wouldn't uh, unload their download software quick into it. It wasn't compatible. So I hurriedly sent GoPro support a request to help me out. I was hoping that they could suggest either a Android or Apple emulator so I could get into the two operating systems that they didn't seem to be supporting. I do have an Asian Android that may have entered into it or not, I don't know. However, GoPro failed to respond in any way, shape, or form, and about a week later I got an inquiry from them asking how their customer service was. So I responded that I didn't know because they didn't respond to my inquiry. <clears throat> After several hundred shots with this camera, I've come to the conclusion that the vibration reduction is mediocre. The colors are a little better than mediocre, but not great. So I decided to get the GoPro Karma handle so I could at least get all of the vibration out of my camera and hopefully get sharper images. Um, at this point, after I bought the Karma handle, I've got about 600 bucks in the session and the handle. What do I discover first thing? Well, by golly, it says the Hero 5 session requires a Karma harness, and it's not the one that comes in the package. That's for the session five, I mean for the Hero 5. So, now I find out that this thing is not only going to cost a pretty penny more, it's going to be more money total than if I bought, say, the Sony 3000. So I asked, I tried to order the, the part that would let my session mate with the gimbal, the Karma handle. Well, they don't make it yet. It's not available. And I asked GoPro again, customer service, what I could do about this. And then once again, they failed to respond in any way, shape, or form, except to send me a customer satisfaction note. Now, I'm frustrated now because I should have bought the Sony. I don't have any doubt about it. And from all the film I've seen, the, it's a better quality and the VR is better. So that's my comments. I'll show you the corner of the package that, that, that fails to mention that the product isn't in production yet that I need, even though the dealer, the GoPro dealer that I bought it from, assured me I could order it from B&H or from GoPro, which turned out not to be true. So shop carefully. Good, good videoing to you. If you uh, like and subscribe, I appreciate it. But if you just save yourself a few bucks, I think that'll be all it really takes to keep me happy. 
good luck with your cameras and your photography. I'm more of a still photographer than a videographer, but uh, I feel like my comments are valid. Good luck. Happy trails.